Hello, I'm Adam and today I have something cool. Let's unbox it. Okay, I'm just making sure it's not. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny! <laughs> yeah, so as you know, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's how it looks. It's the mini PC CWWK one with two uh, two and half uh, gig uh, Ethernet ports, Intel N100, and no USB uh, two zeros on front because this uh, is additional about eight dollars. But those look very very ugly, so I decided to go without it. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> first look. It's very, very tiny and it's one big heatsink and that's it. <laughs> okay, and uh, let's go further. What we've got there. User receipt. Oh, warranty, warranty card, yay! <laughs> Next. Oh, we've got power supply. Um, What's the company? Uh, yeah, of course, without the company. Uh, I don't recommend using this. It's... yeah. Yeah, I don't recommend using this. And next we've got... I have no idea for what we've got, this kind of adapter. Next we've got some uh, washers and screws. Next we've got... oh my gosh! There is a filter! But uh, this thing... Okay, that's how it goes, and there is a fan, and fan is on USB, uh, fan is, uh, those things are really cheap, but uh, yeah, that makes sense that you've got filter, and uh, that's how it should go, yeah, so you screw these things, I think that's how it should go, and uh, I don't like this fan. Uh, to be honest, I will try to run it uh, passively. Oh, this thing is pretty expensive if you want uh, more. Uh, this is SATA uh, connector to this very... I have no idea. Or maybe I have idea why they made it. Uh, this is so small connector and they made it to SATA, SATA adapter. And some screws and yeah, that's it. So. How to open it? Uh, four screws. Let's check what's inside, but first I need a screwdriver. <clears throat> okay, let's check what's inside. This thing is really, really tiny. Okay, and... ta -da! Whoa! Yeah, yeah, so that's how it looks <laughs> inside. Uh, wow. Yeah, it's it's very very small. Let's take uh, for comparison <laughs> twenty to eighty SSD. Yeah, it's going there. You got that? How we, how is it small? <laughs> uh, let's measure it because why not? Uh, so, this is the front, yeah, almost 11 and a half uh, by about 3.6 cm and in this dimension 10 cm. And uh, yeah, the plate hides in total height. Okay, uh, that's how it looks. <laughs> I'm surprised that it it is so so small, and okay. Uh, of course, there are a few things what we're gonna to what we're gonna do. Oh, there are two SATA connectors, and wow, they're so small. I thought they would be bigger. Uh, there are headers. Uh, there might be somewhere a USB, and uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, 
there is one thing what is very recommend to do with those mini PCs. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we have to replace the uh, thermal paste because I heard that uh, Chinese Chinese friends are giving uh, very low quality and uh, on even application and uh, yeah so generally I heard that uh, they are doing it pretty badly so uh, anyway we've got a nice chance to uh, change for better one because this thing will uh, really fight with overheating so uh, yeah. Okay, now we can see it's uh, a about bent. That's okay. Okay, that's the rear panel. And uh, yeah, we can unscrew the whole board I must say it's pretty tightly screwed okay nice four screws I like it and I hope that's it um, I don't want to reset the BIOS, so I will unscrew the back too. Yeah, so many screws. But I was thinking that this thing will be in worse uh, quality, but uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine, I must say it's fine. Okay, four screws are done. Those are for the SSDs and probably I can... Yeah, it's moving already. So we can move it. Yeah, there is a. Yeah, I feel that I'm fighting with the uh, thermal paste. Yeah, there we go. What we can see, I think, uh, there is a thermal paste under this uh, copper plate, so <laughs> we have to remove uh, two times paste. But okay, it is how it is. So, uh, let's take uh, uh, isopropylic alcohol and uh, clean this thing up. Okay, let's see if I can... There we go. And... Uh, well... Uh, I think there was some kind of maybe a thermal glue, but it looks worse, to be honest. So that's good. I checked there. Damn, I hate working with thermal plates because there is so big mess. I mean, my fingers. <laughs> my fingers. Uh, this layer next to the casing was very very thin yeah so keep in t keep it m keep it in mind that you have to place there very very little amount of thermal paste in this case generally we have just to cover area and that's it we don't have to do it very very carefully because at this uh, moment it's very it's very big area so yeah I think that should be enough and I've got a lot of uh, pies remaining so I'll keep it oh my gosh and now let's uh, clean the copper plate from the side and put it it was there okay now we can put it there and now we have smashed it okay mm. 
Okay, uh, there was a lot of thermal paste, I must say. Yeah. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> Look, uh, how much place does the CPU take comparing to the whole motherboard? <laughs> yeah. This thing is really tiny. Okay. Almost we got it. Okay, it will be fine. And now let's clean the uh, copper thing. Yeah, as you can see, very tiny amount of thermal paste is fine, but I can stand that it's so dirty. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, let's put it there. And we have to okay. There are no numbers. <laughs> what I'm expecting for from Chinese board. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see if we've got a gap. And uh, I don't see a gap. Let me see first, then I can show you, but I don't think you will see it. But maybe. Oh, it's hard for you to see that, but. Maybe somehow you got it. Yeah, uh, so I confirm that there is no gap. So we can screw this thing back. Uh, to be honest, it's good that there is a blank panel because uh, there is a way to add something. <laughs> I can drill some hole for a port and yeah, then I've got about, let's say, centimeter. And uh, yeah. That, that's that's good thing. Okay, and the front panel, and uh, and now we can talk about uh, hardware. Uh, this thing got Intel N100 uh, proce processor, so uh, this is the very popular one uh, with six TDP uh, Intel processor. Uh, this thing has performance of about desktop desktop i5. Uh, 6500, so that's very impressive with that low TDP. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm planning to use it uh, as a. Uh, I'm planning to host their uh, Proxmox with PFSense, with Home Assistant, Home Assistance, and uh, some uh, more other things uh, like uh, Unify uh, controller, etc. Uh, or even, I, I hope uh, for this possibility, uh, I hope for hosting a Minecraft server, to be honest, <laughs> because this thing will uh, draw uh, less power than uh, Unify setup, I would say, <laughs> because uh, it should idle about uh, around 10 watts. So, yeah, with uh, high uh, CPU use to about 25 watts. And uh, yeah, I've got big hopes for this, to be honest. But uh, how about uh, memory? And uh, I studied a lot of uh, forums and uh, I went for very controversial thing because as you know, to this uh, mini PC, to uh, one uh, to N100 Intel CPU, you can put maximum uh, 16 gigabytes of memory. And uh, there you can see, I'm going to put there uh, 32 gigabytes. And I read a lot on forums and probably this memory is about to work. And uh, yeah, I hope you saw. Uh, and why it should work? Uh, because 
This is a new architecture Intel, it's uh, 12th generation. Uh, so, uh, and of course it's DDR5. There we go. Uh, why it should work? Uh, because it's 12th architecture, uh, uh, 12th generation Intel, uh, and uh, there is a command in Linux, and uh, there are some uh, the true uh, requirement of uh, how many, uh, what uh, memory you should, uh, you can connect to the CPU, is uh, how many physically lines are provided from the CPU to the memory. And uh, in this case, uh, there is uh, a lot of those uh, lanes. And uh, what's more, there should work uh, twen uh, there should work uh, 48 gigabytes or me of memory, or even uh, 64 if there will be available. But there is uh, one but. Uh, it will work, but the BIOS must support it. Uh, as you maybe saw somewhere, there were uh, BIOS updates to on the motherboards, uh, uh, improving compatibility with uh, 32 gigabyte memory. I had it in the Z670. Uh, My friend uh, was assuring me that uh, 32 gigabytes is uh, compatible, so uh, I assume that they updated the BIOS to include support for 32 gigabytes of memory. And now this thing is so small, is so powerful and has 32 gigabytes of memory. Yeah, it's dream thing for uh, home lab. And uh, I'm about to run it passively. Uh, I will uh, check how it will work uh, passively because this fan, to be honest, is ugly. And oh my gosh, man! <laughs> uh, of course, you can buy bigger version, but uh, I choose this uh, very small and very cheap because this is uh, the cheapest version, uh, $150 with shipping. Uh, this is very cheap and this is very, let's say, poor version because this got NVMe uh, slot but only two lines, so I will get about 1.8 gigabytes. But it's enough, it's just a server. Uh, there are two ports instead of four, but anyway, uh, I'm going to use P PFSense, but uh, if you get more ports, that doesn't mean you can use them as a switch, because every uh, port is a Intel, uh, Intel uh, network card, so, uh, you shouldn't, you should avoid making software bridges because you are laying on software and the software can make some uh, treats and uh, yeah, the proper way of using this as a PFSense is that there comes one, uh, one, let's say internet from the provider and uh, there comes out uh, your, let's say, clean LAN uh, internet with uh, got uh, filtered uh, ads got removed in the pfSense ad blocker etc etc this is the correct approach for this and uh, if you would have more ports uh, that's not good to make software bridges because it will fail uh, somehow and uh, it's bad to do that yeah and anyway virtualizing your uh, firewall is too uh, disgusting is uh, yeah someone cannot agree with that but i will try and if it will be stable in my just home environment i will run it and that's it and yeah uh, this thing is in very poor version but yeah it was cheap and it was small and i hope it will keep up because anyway it has all what i needed uh, those two ports are uh, 3.2 i think 10 gigabits and uh, yeah that's all what we needed and we've got internal one <laughs> yeah so uh, that's it for now thanks for watching please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button bye